guys. I got a sword. Real one. Wow. There's a sheath, scabbard, whatever you want to call it. Where's that from? I don't know. The basement? I don't know. Family heirloom. Family heirloom? It gets a shelf. Oh boy. I would hate to have to use one of these in battle. But there have been lots of people who have used swords in battle before. Or just to cut corn. Or I've never used that, this one to cut corn. I use a machete for that. Mm. We have a wall. We do. Huh. Mm. That's interesting. I wonder what that means. I bet there's probably something to do with a sword and a wall in mm. our story today. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Well, let's sing our song. You guys remember the perfect... Eight? No. Higher. Higher. Nine? Higher. Higher. Eleven? A little lower. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> A little lower. Should I show all twelve of my fingers? Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Plus five, four, three, two, one. Six plus one. No, that's seven. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 plus 5 is 11. 6 plus 5 is 11. It is. Of that, you are correct. Hmm. Hmm. Pick up your guitar. Next time you see Peter Miller, you ask to count his fingers. I bet you'll count 10. Unless something drastic happens between now and then. Then it might be 9. <laughs> In a cloud of fire and smoke. Wait. Smite, smite we got it. some thunder. The mighty voice of thunder broke. <laughs> <laughs> As God descended to the mountain top. Make your mountain. High upon Mount Sinai. today. Mm. Our story, or story is called The Warrior Leader. When you look at that city, you might get a clue as to what it's about. After Moses died, God gave his people a new leader. His name was Joshua, which means the Lord saves. Joshua was going to lead God's people into a special land God had promised to give them. 
By this time, God's people had been wandering around in the baking desert for 40 years by their own choice, I might add. Yeah, they didn't want to go into Canaan when God was ready to take them. So you can imagine how sick they were of sand and anything yellow and tents and walking and being hot and how happy they were to reach the edge of the desert to see their beautiful new home right there in front of them. All cool and green and lovely. There was only one problem. What was that problem? Jericho. Jericho. Jericho was a city, but it wasn't just any old city. It was a fortress and it stopped anyone from getting into the land. Hmm. hmm. I don't think my fortress could do that, but it gives you an idea. The people looked at Jericho, at the big giant scary walls all around it, at the towering tall ramparts, at the heavy iron gates bolted shut, and then at each other. What's a rampart? And I don't know. while the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. I don't know. Are ramparts flags? Maybe. Or the ramparts we watched were so I don't know, I can look it up if you keep yeah. reading. Okay. I'll let them look at this picture. And then I'll look up your ramparts on the internet. <laughs> what would they do? No one knew. I'm really glad that they didn't choose to grumble and mumble. That got them into 40 years of wandering last time they did that. But God knew, and God told Joshua what to do. But Joshua must have looked surprised because it was a very odd battle plan indeed as we'll soon find out. Then God made his people a promise. I will always be with you and I will never ever leave you. So if a rampart, to interrupt you, is a defensive wall of a castle or walled city having a broad top with the walkway. Well, there you go. So, so what was so gallantly streaming over the ramparts? Probably the flag. Oh, yeah. You just probably oh, wrote yeah. the lyrics wrong. Say, can you see? You'll have to sing the whole song to get that part. Oh yeah, we're not going to do that today. Not today. That's for another day. Maybe when we're together we'll sing it. Anywho, walkways, that's what ramparts are. So, God made a plan. It was a surprising plan and we were reading about it. Oh, and this was the promise. I will always be with you and I will never ever leave you. If you do what I say, your lives in the new land will be happy and everything will go well. So Joshua gathered his army together. They had their swords, sword, mm -hmm. sword, sorry. 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 prop, sword, oi, sword, and spear. I don't have a spear. Oh. I only have a sword. I couldn't join his army. And shields? And a shield? No. Nope. Don't have one of those today either. They were ready to fight. I got a drum. But the plan wasn't about fighting. The plan was about trusting and doing what God said. Joshua's army went marching, marching, marching around the city day after day after day. They're too scared to fight, the people in Jericho said. Oh, I bet they had things to say. But they were wrong. God's people weren't scared. They were waiting. Waiting for God to tell them what to do next. On the seventh day, God told his people to march around the city not once, but seven times. And then what were they going to do? Then God told everyone to make as much noise as they could. Has anyone ever told you to make as much noise as you possibly could? Are you ready? Yeah. He's going to make some noise. Oh, I'm not so good. I couldn't be in this army. It actually does make that vibrate. Really? Yeah. Do it again. I don't, you probably can't see it. The vibration yeah. from the, okay. But I might tip over. Anywho, wow, his face is a little red. We better stop. <laughs> they made as much noise as they possibly could. And that's a lot of noise because they had 
If you add 39,999 other people to making the noise that you made, then you might get an idea of what that noise would be like. Pretty loud. Ear splitting. Did, did, didn't everybody go around though? They had all of the Israelites, right? It wasn't just the army, was it? I don't know. This is, I'm just reading Maybe you story. have to get your parents and read that story. Man, woman, child, baby, animals. Did everybody go around? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. You look it up and let us know. Was Text it just Pete. the soldiers or was it the whole, all of Israel? And as it turned out, it was stone splitting noise too. Because the huge strong walls of Jericho just crumbled to the ground as if they were made of sand. Jericho vanished in a great cloud of dust. There were people, special people, who were rescued in that city. Yeah. That's yeah. another wonderful story. See this thing right here? A red ribbon. Mm -hmm. It saved a woman named Rahab and all her family. She hung yeah. one of those out her window. She did. And God saved her. You guys, one thing that I wanted to tell you that has, I'm off topic right now. That <laughs> we, we are reading this book which is telling us some of the stories from the Bible but there are many wonderful stories in the Bible. I was thinking about Gideon. We skipped right over poor Gideon and that's a great story. It is. And I don't know, we haven't done anything well, about... We haven't really skipped over Gideon yet. Do you think we're going to hear about Gideon in here? I don't know. I hope we do. We have Gideon skipped. happened after they got into the new land. Yeah. Remember the Moabites and Midianites? Okay, yes, yeah, sorry. Thing? Well, we haven't skipped them yet, but we've skipped others. We've skipped others. Yes. Okay. Boy, I'm glad you're here to keep me on track. I don't think I ever could. <laughs> so it was that God's people entered their new home. And they didn't have to fight to get in. They only had to walk. Joshua said, God has brought you safely here. Now will you do what he says? Everyone said, we promise. Only God can make your heart happy, Joshua said. So don't pray to pretend gods. No, they said, never. I'm afraid they didn't keep their promise. They didn't do what God said. And many years later, just as God warned them, things would go badly for God's people. They would lose their home. Enemies would capture them and take them off as slaves. And God's people would scatter into many different lands. But God's plan was still working. One day, he would give his people another leader and another home. But this home, no one could ever take from them. You'll have to come back tomorrow to hear the next story. You will. It's not about Gideon. It's not. I looked. <laughs> it's about a little king. A little teeny weeny king. And we won't sing Joshua fit the battle of Jericho. No, we would never sing that. Jericho. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Joshua fit the battle of Jericho and, and the, the walls, walls came tumbling down. down. You, you can, can talk, talk about, about your man of Gideon. You, you can talk, talk about your man of Paul Saul. Or Saul. You but there's none like good old Joshua and the battle of Jericho. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for the stories in the Bible that establish our faith, that show us of how badly things go when we disobey you and walk away from your laws of love. May each person who hears this know that they are loved, that they are secure in you, and that they can have peace in their hearts. Thank you, Lord, for loving us. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. See you, See you guys.